If you watched a Monday night football game in the 1980s, chances are you saw one of these commercials. And we'll return for the fourth quarter, but right now, this word from our local station. IBM presents You Make the Call. Mike Black of the Lions has his punt blocked by the Oilers, but Black alertly recovers the ball in midair and advances it for an apparent first down. Now you make the call. Is this a first down for the Lions? I remember these. These were these were fun. Oh, I love these. These were cool because they were they were plays that could teeter totter. What call did you make? When a block punt is recovered by the punting team behind the line of scrimmage, it may be advanced, in this case, for a first down. You would think you, you're going to get this right, and it's going to be easy. But it was so hard. Moon of the Oilers and is eventually recovered by Clay Matthews of the Browns, who attempts a lateral, which is re-recovered by the Oilers. Now you make the call. Whose ball is it and where? And what down is it? What call did you make? Since the ball changed possession and back again, a new set of downs is given to the Oilers at the spot of recovery. Pete Retzloff and a fellow named Andy Rogan and I formed a company called RPR Productions, and we represented NFL films going back to the early 80s and developed many concepts, including vignettes. Alcoa presents fantastic finishes. John Lazarus, who was in charge of sales for the ABC network, and Rune Arledge. They really liked the concept. Well, at the time, I was in charge of production, so I did the initial pilot, and then Buzz Ringe, I think, was a perfect choice to do the actual spots, because he paid such attention to detail. I would come up with about 100 possibilities of plays that were questionable plays that I would ask Art McNally about, and he would come in, and we would look at them together and decide which ones were the best. Originally, the sponsor of You Make the Call was Mattel in Television. In Television presents You Make the Call. Here we are in the bathroom of our house, and above the sink, above the lights, is the original signboard appropriately placed above the sink, not above any other fixture. It's there to remind me of the past, the glorious past in NFL films. I still have the original file and the original script from 1982. Timeout is called by Bear quarterback, quarterback Jack Kincannon. But the ball is snapped and run for an apparent touchdown by a Cardinal linebacker. Now, you make the call. Is it a touchdown? What call did you make? In this case, a player called timeout. But the ball was snapped before an official could call it. And only an official can stop the play. It is a touchdown. One of the limitations of you make the call plays was that the question and answer had to both be shown within 25 seconds. Those time constraints made it difficult for legendary narrator John Facenda, who was known for his deliberate delivery. After the first year, Facenda was replaced by Harry Callis. He was one of the few narrators that could speed up or slow down sufficiently to fit in. And right to the end, Harry would send a Christmas card every year, which ended with, now you make the call, pal. I really was proud of what we had accomplished. I was proud of the way it looked, and certainly the consumers liked it, because the viewership had two and a half times greater recall and awareness as to an advertiser who ran five 30-second commercials in that same broadcast. In advertising, even the best commercials have a limited shelf life. By the early 90s, IBM ended its sponsorship, and You Make the Call disappeared. But the spirit of those old ads lives on today. We use them now. Um, we use those during preseason. We actually will have a rookie stand up, and we have a You Make the Call situation that we show video footage of it, and it asks him if it's A, B, or C. It's a way in which we can kind of introduce guys coming from college, what the rules are in the pros, and not only that, it kind of reinforces the rules even for the veterans. Yeah, what should I do, man? Should I challenge it? I know, but it was the ball out. Tell me if the ball was out or not. Now with replay and the ability to challenge calls, coaches throughout the game, they're going through that same exercise. Second guessing a head coach is a fan's favorite pastime. The networks have accommodated that passion by hiring officiating gurus to provide instant analysis of controversial plays. 
The game is so complex now, and it's captured so well by TV. They found that the fan is just really hungry for a lot more information. We're a right now society. Everybody wants to know exactly what's happening at that same time. Given our high-tech instant gratification world, would a simple you make the call vignette work today? There's a whole new audience out there that's never seen you make the call. It's a greater audience, and as a result, I think their reception would be unbelievable. We could do the Des Bryant play. That wouldn't be easy, considering narrator Harry Callis passed away in 2009. But thanks to modern technology, anything is possible. IBM presents You Make the Call. Tony Romo with the Cowboys passes to Des Bryant, who catches the ball in midair but loses possession as he hits the ground. Now you make the call. Is this a touchdown? What call did you make? For a legal catch, the receiver must maintain possession when he hits the ground. Therefore, this is an incomplete pass. I think we're far from oversaturating the fan with information. We have so many plays that are discussed for weeks afterwards. I think it'd be a great idea to bring them back. So when are we going to start running you make the call again? I don't know. <laughs> Sponsor to be determined presents You Make the Call.